Or it's just an activated ability, so it doesn't count. Or does it? No, it does. I was about to say. Okay. <laughs> well. Yo. Yo. Oh, shit. What's up, friends, and welcome to a new Bloomboro standard video. And today, Twitch chat has challenged me to make a red deck. Now, I definitely uh, did not think that the rats were the strongest like creature type in Bloomboro. As a matter of fact, I rated the rats like super low. Um, but this deck somehow ended up popping off. Like, it's a mystery to me. But <laughs> uh, there were some incredible games that we managed to get with this uh, with this little red deck. And a lot of that had to do with the Persistent Marsh Stalker, a 2-mana 3-run Red Berserker that gets plus 1 plus 0 for each other red you control. Now, the Bloomboro Reds are in the Demir colors, but we are in Grixis, and we're in red because of Song of Totentons from Wows of Eldrain, X Red Sorcery. And you create X 1-1 one one Black Red creature tokens with this creature can block. Creatures you control gain haste until the end of turn. And it's just a super efficient way to put a ton of reds on the board, which synergizes nicely with the Persistent Marsh Stalker. Because you also have the threshold, so whenever you attack with one or more rats, if seven or more cards are in your graveyard, you may pay three mana, and if you do, you return the Marsh Talker from your graveyard to the battlefield, tapped and attacking. Now, the Song of Totentons also is super nice with Three Tree City, the legendary land from Bloomboro. You choose a creature type when that land enters, and then for two and a tap, you can choose a color and add an amount of mana of that color equal to the number of creature control of the chosen type. And this deck basically just, you know, puts a ton of rats on the board. So the Tree Tree City can represent like a ton of ramp. And Karamonix, the Red King, is a uh, great way for you to have a ton of rats in your hand so you can play them out with the Tree Tree City. Because Karamonix, when it enters, you look at the top five cards of your library, you may reveal any number of red cards from among them and put the revealed cards into your hand. So Karamonix also gives Toxic 1 to rats, which is uh, puts a pretty fast clock on your opponent sometimes. But yeah, Karamonix very often just gives you like three or four cards when it enters. And that's kind of nuts. Like that's kind of like a Traxa equivalent of like card advantage. Um, but we're doing it with rats. So Karamonix definitely was a, a great reason why the deck like popped off the way it did. Now we're also playing the Mockingbird in here. And we uh, were joking on the stream how the Mockingbird was basically like the best rat. <laughs> so the Mockingbird is an X blue creature uh, with flying. And you may have Mockingbird enter as a copy of any creature on the battlefield with mana value less than or equal to the amount of mana spent to cast Mockingbird. Except it's a bird in addition to its other types and it has flying. And the fact that the Mockingbird like keeps the flying makes it so good when you copy like a persistent Marsh Stalker with it. Because all of a sudden this thing cannot be chumped and it just flies and that represents a ton of damage. But I also thought it was really good with the Mockingbird to like copy like a gnawing vermin which is sort of like one mana rat. Or like you know copy like the tokens that Vren made. They were also really nice. So Vren is a four mana three for a red rogue from Bloomboro with War 2. If a creature and opponent controls who die you exile it instead. And at the beginning of each end step you create X one on black red creature tokens with this creature gets plus one plus one for each other rat you control. Or X is the number of creatures your opponent controlled that were exiled this turn. Which is why we have quite a lot of removal in this deck as well, because we want to get those Ren tokens. Um, and they made really good Mockingbird targets as well. Um, because, you know, anything that says like rats, uh, this creature gets plus one plus one for each rat you control. It's just super strong in a deck that wants to like have like 100 rats on the board or something. Um, Lord Skitter did a really good job at basically flooding the board with rats as well, buffing up all the other cards. And yeah, the deck just overperformed. Like, I don't know how to say it to you <laughs> i think on average you know not sure if it will still perform as good as it did for me in the gameplay that you're about to watch but you know what it was a ton of fun to play and i always love a good deck building challenge and uh, it was a ton of fun to try and make red rats like work and um you know i hope that you can see that in the gameplay that's coming up how excited we all were that the the rats were popping off so let's get into it but before we get started don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel out and your support is greatly appreciated and you definitely want to subscribe to make sure to not miss out on any of my Bloomboro brews. So with that being said, we are the rats. It's time to get into it and uh, see what these rats can do for us in Bloomboro Standard. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards, ranging from sleeves, deck boxes, playmats, binders, and more. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure, and stylish. Support the channel and yourself by purchasing your Ultimate Guard products using the link in the description. Okay. 
Yeah. Lord Skidda. The little rat. I feel like Ruth Collar and Skitter are cool together, at least. And that's why my card is fucking dead. <laughs> Great. Okay. Snores. I'm trying to figure out whether or not I care about the snores. I probably do. I mean, I guess I could set up like Azure Beast Binder and then like I can just remove snores and uh Excel snores. Let's do that. These Beast Binder can like shut down a bunch of other like cards the opponent might play that are scary. Okay, I'm not sure why they're playing that rat or the mouse. I'm about to say, surely we get bangers out of this. Fine with zero. It's a fucking huge marsh stalker. That's nice. Big guy. Thrill seek it. Yeah, I, I guess so. Mm, okay, so I'm a new Caramonix. We are the rats. We are the rats. I think mill the opponent to learn out more about what they're playing because I have no idea. We are the rats. It's just zero. Little dude filling our hand. Yeah, that's quite nice. It's quite nice. Oh, holy shit. Gas. I mean, opponent just dies to poison. They're cool. I want to see more. I was going to mill them. You know your RNG is like fucking horrible as hell if somebody that plays a cool is out here, uh in diamond two and you're out here suffering <laughs> uh. life existence it's funny it's really funny it's not One land. Another struggle. Can you just be nice, Shuffler? Is it is it in your like realm of Kate like why? Yeah. You know, the thing is like for you guys, at least when you're losing for five hours straight in magic, at least you're not doing it in front of like twelve hundred people. <laughs> At least you're, you know, you have that going for you. At least you're not doing it in front of 1,200 people. Like, just literally losing for, uh... You got that, yeah. So, I hope you take some comfort in that. When RNG is being mean to you. You know? Because, uh... It's not great. It's not great. I'm suffering, Chief. 
I'm suffering. All I have is rats and a dream. Me and my rats against the world. I fucking figured they were a cool claw, but why are they playing a cool in that too? All right. What about I give you checkmate? Be afraid. I'm I'm copying cruel claw. Period. I was going to build cruel claw combo. I'm not sure if I would ever play it with heart fire hero though. Please don't high roll. Have mercy. Mercy. What was that? Shelly for free? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, brother. Oh, brother. A free shouldered. That's fine. I'm fine, really. It's fine. I'm not worried. Oh, my God. Well, I guess I got to remove Shelly. Oh, my God. I have a rat. No way, dude. No way. No way. I have a rat. I'm, I'm poke champing. Dang. Walking bird's kind of like gas, though. Kind of gas. I'm actually wondering whether or not I want walking bird and cookies now. Low key. All right, dump my hand. Does uh, our our homie Ren do more? Only for creatures that died this turn. Okay. Sweet burb. Yeah, the only the only thing that could ever make cookies even better than it is right now is adding a bird. It is true. <laughs> it is true. Someone milking bird at search engine against me. Ooh, I do like the sound of that. I do like the sound of that. The rat's cheeked up. Nah, that's true. I will try it. I will try it. Hardfire hero looking a little thick here. How's this guy working on? If you, whenever you attack with one more rats, if you seven more cards in your grave here, it may pay three if you do return it. Oh, that's some far from that. I'm far from that. Am I just like, am I not giving a fuck era? Like, do I just block gigs and like, whatever happens, happens? All right, we ball. I guess so. Like, I think I guess I am. Hey, Libby. I guess I am. Like, what are you going to do? I mean, play an attract stuff from Cruel Claw? A cut down. That's honestly not even too bad. I think they can only reach my token dude with that. You should get a rat. I guess I do. Each end step. Yes, I get a rat. Oh, gas. Oh, gas. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Yo, all right. OK. Well, I fear Ren has to go despite the the early the, the carry. Earlier. If Bell's riding on it, shit, I'm trying my best. All right, Cass, thanks for keeping me updated. Have a nice walk. We're against Lizzie's? Oh, shit. Mm, I think we got to set up this like Valley Rothcaller ASAP. I think we got to. The Lizzie's will not let us, let us live. Oh, fuck my life. It's a BTL. Damn.
Well, shit. It's a little rough, that. The BBL lizard, yeah. Surely not. I don't think Thoughtstalker Warlock belongs in that deck, though. Like, there's no way the deck wants that. There's no fucking way. Yo, Ryan. There's no way. It does not want that. I could steal their Thought Stalker Warlock if I wanted to. He'll just copy Persistent Marsh Stalker and go crazy. Yeah, I would imagine it's a little underwhelming. To be fair, like, I guess I could try to just do this and then, like, steal it anyway. See what they have. I'll just shoot the battler. You know what? That was fucking mean. Holy shit. Why did they top like Vine Lasher? Cursed RNG. Very cursed. Holy shit. Negative vibes. Nah, this is gonna cook me now. A lightning bolt to the face for finding a land is bad. The lizards are just so good. Ren. Call me. Not right now. Mm, we're also not really finding any lands. Bruh. I mean, fuck it. I guess I do swing. I think holding back does nothing for me. Oh, great. All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Well, removal. I don't know. I hope we have a good matchup here, but lizards are like pretty damn good. So I'm not sure. I feel like this is identical to the first like hand we ever saw. First one lenders. Cursed. Spotify overlay. You got it, Bessie. I get it for you. They're working. There we go. Spring break breakers goes hard as fuck. Excellent taste. Oh my god, they're so good at finding the, the BBL lizard. Oh curve. Bench, like excellent music taste for real, for real. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm feeling really bad for the rats, guys. That's a gaff. I don't think I'm gonna ever gain gain from like not blocking this, so. I think the only thing we could ever do is put the lizards into like top deck mode and pray. Uh, this is rats. We just splash red for um 
We're splashing red for Totem Tons, which is worth, I think. All right, a little painful this. So if we could just find Caramonix. But how today's gonna go, I never suit a chance. Honestly. Well. Rats? They can't block for shit, but... Three Tree City ramps us. Not sure what we're gonna do with that, but it's cool. It's cool. Ayo, hey, we have a chance. A dream? Oh fuck, they got Mudflat Village. They're gonna bring something back. Yeah, it's especially nice with Three Tree City. It was kind of hard with that. Caramonics. Card draw rat. Come on now. Don't be shy. That's a land. <laughs> Fuck. Five check not pass. I don't know. I don't even have seven in my grave. Can I? I can never even bring that back. Fuck. One of the top kind of like nightmare vibes here. They're swinging. Wow. Okay. Thanks. I, I really hate it. really hate it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that our guy is turned on now to Marsh Stalker. We can bring it back. For three mana. Tapped and attacking. Nice. At some point. These lizards don't beat my ass. So, I loop Tangled Colony. Or should I have done both? I should have just done both. I thought I had one in my graveyard. Um, Yeah, that's on me. I thought I just had one. I should have double checked. Oh well, we still got there. <laughs> we still got there. It would have been lethal if I didn't play Tangled Colony out. I had enough. Okay, well. It's gotta like play it a little bit more like conservatively. Opponent try to not have an iridescent vine last return one. Difficulty challenge impossible. Opponent try to not have a turn two BBL. <laughs> They've had well, turn one Vine Lasher, turn two BBL, like two two games now, and they make it three, bruh. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, BBL fucking turn two three times. Congratulations. Well, magic is easy on days that we are cursed for our opponents, for sure. Unfortunately, <sighs> struggle. I struggle every day. Every day I fight. Every day I fight. Yeah, fuck you. I don't. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get rid of Gav. I should put that sage. I don't know. Okay, they're stuck on two lands, though. We got that going for us. Pause. 
We're getting beep out BBL. <laughs> Shit. Two Karamonixes. That was really strange. Surely our homie Vren saves us, right? Surely, Vren. Surely. Well? Well? Well, I mean, I think it's mostly because they were screwed on lands, but... Well, these vibes are weird as hell. I'll try it. I'll try. Kalitos? God, that's kind of like slander for Kalitos slander, though. What are you going to do? Kill my rat? I'll get more rats. Try it. Bestie. If this is like Pixie, if they're kissing blading me, like we're fucking, we're, we're set. One blade and it's Jover. <laughs> Oh, okay, never mind. I, so, never mind. I keep misreading Tangled Colony. It's it's completely different and a lot worse. Ignore me. Ignore me. It's only upon when dealing, getting dealt damage. That's when Tangled Colony gets rats. It's only in combat. Either way. Loki, I could still preach her with Mockingbird, but... Do I just spam more rats? Oh, uh, maybe? I'm getting close to getting the Marsh Stalker requirement to bring it back. I seal my opponent's preacher. That's kind of gas. The devilish valet combo. <laughs> Shambling gas in foundations. I'd be down. Every time you see red colony, you remember the devil red combo stream. That was truly my descent into like insanity. It really was. It was not good. I really lost my mind that day. I really did. It was the, the real definition of the trenches. All right, rent time, I guess. All right, we're going to get the Marsh Stalkers back soon. Kind of excited for that. Oh, you want to give me a rat? Oh, think twice about that, bestie. Think twice about that. Think twice about that. Be careful who you give a rat to. Oh. Oh my fucking god, why did it go out to party when on the day you're playing rats? <laughs> Real. Fuck parties. You want to see me play rats? Yeah, they have the rat sleeve and we're out here beating them with rats. There you go. Yo, thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. Um, I mean, honestly, Karamonix probably goes too hard, right? I was going to bring back the Marsh Stalker, but it has to go too hard. Yo, a little bit of ramp. Ooh, ooh. More vermins. We are the rats. We are the rats. We are the rats. Dude, it's going kind of crazy. We're, we're kind of going crazy right now, chat. We're kind of doing it. The rat ancestral recall? Like... <laughs> it's cooking. Looking like New York City. <laughs> yeah, what's the Kanye West song? Hold on. What 
What is it fucking called? He's a feature on it. What's... <laughs> I don't remember. Either way. Play that song. It is true. He is a flop. Okay. We get a 7-7 guy out of that, though. That's so impressive. Wow. Ren's doing it again. Hold up. If Ren really is like the rat that makes all of the rules. It is confirmed. How many persistent Marsh Stalkers are in here? Two of them? I can bring them back, all of them back, right? Like if I swing with everything. Can I not? Or does that not work? Or it's just an activated ability so it doesn't count. Or does it? No, it does. I was about to say. Okay. <laughs> well. Yo. Yo. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ayo. <laughs> Ayo. Nah, we're really cooking. We're really cooking. I'll go 61 special. We're trying to secure that three win streak with the rats here. The rats are the chosen one to give us uh, our good RNG back. The chosen ones. Karamonix is fucking scary as hell, though. Scary looking rat. Okay. Opponent's shook. Handsome three headed red boy. <laughs> yeah, it appears so. Garmonix OP commander. Garmonix seems a little evil, yeah, with like toxic and refueling and all that. Seems like a pretty insane little guy. Okay. They grabbed Skitter. Evil's objective? Well, I guess so. Poison's kind of evil in commander, though. To be fair, some more Charlie up in here. Rats. Well, we have just an army of Karamonics. Red of the top. Okay. Three meta, three, three, draw three, kind of crazy. Yeah, and the poison. And more, like, that's value. Persistent Marsh is good as fuck, too, though. Night Air of Eos, eat your heart out. Nah, right? Like. I was gonna get rid of Totem Tons, I guess. You know, double Totem Tons with 3 3 City goes, goes crazy. I'm so tempted to try. I feel an urge. Try.
Do I just try to like get a bunch of rats? I got two rats out of that. We have a tree tree city for four, so we're like ramping by one now. We kind of just have to ignore everything the opponent does and just stay in our own lane. Build New York City up from the ground. Sure. Before they know it, they're dead. Mockingbird. So it's two mana to tap the tree tree city. Um why not just do this? And then three tree city next turn gives us eight mana. I cannot believe they just took the marsh stalker. What the hell? They gotta have like another like pest control, yeah. <laughs> but see, there's no way in hell that you ever just take that. No way. Hmm, gonna just copy these guys. More Marsh Stalkers. Mockingbird, let's fucking go! Okay, the opponent has to block, so we're gonna get like a huge guy out of that too. I mean, obviously, we have the advantage of the opponent like kind of being cooked when it comes to mana, but this is kind of doing it. So I can like easily block that because I get like another one out of that unless they remove Ren, but that's they gotta put four mana into that. They just get cooked. Sunfall. Man, these deep cavern bats are like saving their asses. Unreal. But there's another marsh stalker in here. So if I do this, target myself. I'm gonna have another one attacking. Yup, put it in play. I mean, these marsh stalkers are fucking doing it though. And we get two rats out of Ren? <laughs> I mean... Hold it. Hold it. Three win streak rats? Hold it. Let's go. Yo, this looks sick. I'll take it. Or the rats. Oh fuck, here's the ultimate challenge, I guess, immediately. Onvoke. Okay. It's a little dark side at this. 
a little dark sided. Yeah, the double warden is pretty bad. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll add it to the list. My VIP list is like full, so I have to like remove some stuff. No worries. I got you. I'll write it down. No worries. Okay. So Kaja's welcome. We mill ourselves, I guess. Okay. I mean, that sucks. Damn. All right, let's go our, with our uh, our Rat King, Karamonix. See what the vibes are like. If I I believe my in my King Karamonix. Oh shit, baby! Draw four. Draw fucking four. Wow. Wow. All right. That's pretty fucking ridiculous. The attracts our rats. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Attracts our rat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know you have resolute reinforcements. We know, we know. I think the greatest problem is that we're probably still losing to like Warden of the Inner Sky here, but Rat Traxa. Oh shit. The Convo Gamer's drawing too good. They're drawing too good. Boo. I mean, obviously they had the scries from the Warden, which probably like made their draws a bit better, but... Boo. Boo. That's Rat... Ratxa? Yeah. At Rat... Ratxa. Ratxa, I don't know. Um, they just drew better, though, I fear. I fear. Draw four, not good enough. Uh, we'll see, like, I can at least get rid of some of their, like, guys. Hey, Libby. Well, if we can find a way to survive this. Uh, the red colonies can block. It might just be like Lord Skitter and Marsh Stalker, maybe. If I could just get my hands on the Tree Tree City. I'd kind of be gaming. Hmm. Yeah, the Deluges and the board will be there for us. Fucking Warden number four. They're like, they've only seen 14 cards, man. Like, why do you have a full play set of Wardens? That's kind of messed up. 
Ren plus Glissy. Oh, that would be sick. Ren and Glistening Deluge would go super hard together. My hopes are up. My dreams alive. Opponent, top deck to the fucking Imidane's recruiter. <sighs> of course they do. Cruel world, you know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. When they have it, yeah. Maybe you go like this. Okay. Writing it up. Mm, okay, so no glistening deluge. Do we have a removal? I'll try. Well, let's just say that for like... Like... 66% the, the struggle has been real. Ooh, glissy deluge though. Wait, hold up. Ren deluge, like dream is alive. Hold on. Hold on. I see a dream right happening right in front of my eyes. A beautiful dream. Got the cameras. I mean, obviously it's like fucking greedy to try and like sequence it like that, but honestly, we deserve this, you know? We de we deserve this. I'm we're gonna do it. Pause champ. Why yeah, after all, why don't why we why shouldn't we deserve to be greedy, right? Like we deserve. We deserve this. That's fine. Player Takesha is welcome. Walking bird kinda slay though. Okay, soon, guys. Soon. This glistening deluge is gonna rock their fucking world. Let's go. At least we have two rats out of it at the moment. We'd lose our persistent marsh stalker, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Sacrifices have to get... You have to make a sacrifice to the rat king. Okay. Sacrifices to the Rat King. We're gonna get three of them? Alright, word. We're gonna get four, actually, because I'll remove the Night Errant, too. Dude, if you try to get greedy here... I mean, they'll just concede on the spot, though. This is actually just win the game. I get four rats plus four on my marsh stalker, so that's already eight. Plus three. Is it not? No, wait, it does. My math is awful. Wait, does it? Marsh stalker goes to eight. The rats go for an additional four. Yeah, it should be it, right? Do we want to do it? Do we want to have, like, the, the sick play, or do we just want to go, like... I think we should probably, like, hide that we have Glistening Deluge, right? Yeah. I think we should hide it. We should hide it. Yeah, I mean, it would have been sick, but we we hide our info. Death. I believe in the Mockingbirds. The art's so cute on this guy, too. The flavor text, great. You're gonna snitch? <laughs> no! Nar, not the snitch. 
Oh yeah, fuck. I need to just do zero. It's so weird. I'm not used to getting that. A flying warden of the inner sky. Ah ha ha. Mocking bird is a here. Aha. Aha ha. E he he he. I'm not going to get like the same value, but I guess I could Mockingbird and Office Inspector too. I could. Hmm. To be fair, like, I do want to hit a land, so maybe I do it. Perhaps it's not the craziest move. Okay. It's either the greatest play of all time or the goofiest shit we've ever done. Yeah. Exactly, like, I am you, but better. <laughs> Gross convo, but everything flies. <laughs> yeah. Skitter. I need to be a little careful here. Mm, ideally untap though. This is weird as hell. This is weird. Lord Skidda. No, it's true. What's up, Ethelie? We're playing rats. The one and only. The meme guy. Oh fuck. Oh, it's, oh, it's going after Skitter though. Hold on. We gotta like match this warden's power somehow. I'll say Mockingbird creates some interesting games for sure. I mean. I turn my rats. Are I don't think we want to do this anymore. I mean, it actually. <sighs> nah, surely it's not the right move. Like, I think the priority should be finding a way to remove that fucking warden. You know, I think that's our number one concern. Because, like, they are one step ahead of us, and that part really sucks. This is like play draw diff. Like, this dude is growing faster than our dude grows. Not cute. Not the vibe. Don't remove my guy. Fuck you. How does Convoke find removal before our Grix's rat deck? Fucking scam. Seriously, that's that's a scam though, because we have so much interaction in here. Mourning them. It's fucked up. Sure is. Do you have reach? Do 
Yeah, I don't think we're going to find a way out. I mean, we're just hoping to top that go for the throw. Annoyed with affliction. No. God damn. Ah, we're cooked, I fear. I know. Warden of the Inner Sky just runs away with games if left unchecked. Like, it really does. It's a shame. It really is. Hmm. Well, we're dead. Just, like, unfortunate we couldn't remove the warden. 